Hello friends, this video on S block elements part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The ratio both has tendency to attract water. Now let's understand the uses of alkali metals. It is used to make alloys and these alloys are used to make aeroplanes, the lightweight metals. Also used to make bearings, used in industries. They are used to make electrochemical cells. Sodium is used to be mixed with petrol to increase the mileage of the petrol, but now it is not. Also to uh, um, improve the condition of engine actually, but now it is not used because we are using the lead free petrol nowadays. And it is used as a coolant in nuclear reactors. If you see these nuclear reactors, there sodium is used as coolant. Here the sodium was used as a the anti-knocking agent. Potassium plays a huge role in our biological system. We'll discuss about this, where they will discuss uh, the role of potassium in our body. It is also used for fertilizers. Fertilizer is also used for fertilizers. And this potassium is also used to manufacture. So, there are so many uses of alkali metals. We talk about soap, nuclear reaction, our body, cells, petrol, diesels, make as used for, to make alloys. Also, cesium is used for making photoelectric cells. This is solar cells you call. Right here, cesium is used to make photoelectric cells. Let's talk about the occurrence of this alkali metal. So, if you see the lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium. And if you see this, Sodium and potassium be double star. Double star is percent by weight, and single star is part per million. So, sodium and potassium are double star. That means they they have a good percentage at least two point two seven percentage by weight, and this is one point eight four percentage by weight in the earth crust, and they are available. But if you see the alkali metal as such, they are very reactive, and they occur only in combined state as halides or oxy salts. Right? Still, potassium and sodium they exist. They are the most common element if you compare the group element, one element, and they are sixth and seventh most abundant element in the earth crust. It's a big thing, right? right? Sodium and potassium are sixth and seventh most element uh, abundant element in the earth crust. Lithium is found but in small trace in almost all rocks. And we see the lithium is very less, it's in part per million. It's very less. Francium also is very as a radioactive element, it doesn't exist really in nature, it's very, very rare. This is my occurrence of Alkali metals are the sodium and potassium are the most free available, but not in free state. They are almost six and seven most abundant element in the earth crust. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.